Hello and welcome to day 135 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. All right, let's find an opponent and begin here. Uh, it looks like we're at a 1652 rating at this point. Um, all right, we have the black pieces and they begin with e4, a 1717 player. So we'll play the Carol Khan and see how they respond here. All right, interesting. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead. Do we want to capture there? I'm thinking we should go ahead and capture. So we'll go ahead and do that. Huh, interesting. Now, do we want to pick off this, you know, this is a 1717 rated player. So his queen could swoop down in here, try and cause some problems. Hmm. All right. Question is, do we just bring our knight up here? Or do we capture? So already we're in a little uh, a little trappy opening here. So do I go ahead and capture? If I do that and his queen swoops down in here and threatens an immediate mate, well then what do we do? We go here attacking the queen. Queen would have to run. Now the problem is, oh man, this is a tricky one. I'm going to have to do some research on this opening. So if I take this, the bishop develops, then the bishop is lined up here. I could attack. Um, yeah, but we could have some pile up here. You know, what if he sacrifices? What if he sacrifices here? All right, I don't have time to think about it. I'm just going to go there. Now we'll capture, attack, oh, there's a trick on my queen here. A tricky trap on my queen. A tricky little trap here. Did I just fall for this trap? Okay. If I capture... They go here and check me. Then my queen is unprotected. So, what do I do here? Hmm. My rook is under attack, so I need to worry about that. If I go here, oh man, yeah, that looks rough too.
All right, guess we're doing that. Uh, yep, I got caught out in that little trap. I'm gonna have to definitely research and see what the best uh, way is to handle that little tricky opening. Man, I bet he. I bet my opponent catches a lot of opponents uh, off guard with that. Because if I would have captured. He would have checked me with his bishop. And then my queen would have been unprotected. Oh, now I can just take my queen. What am I doing? All right. Yeah, I need to just resign. That, that was awful. That, that was so awful. My queen was under attack the whole time. All right. So now he can just... Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to just resign. Um, let's see what they do. Of course, he's thinking, well, what should I do? I can just take his queen. Is there a trap here? No, he can just take my queen. If he takes my queen, uh, what then? I capture, then this bishop this queen gets involved oh yeah it's just awful i should have given up my rook there i guess and or moved my queen mm. yeah that's just awful now he can just take man that was a brutal little tricky opening there i definitely need to research this i don't know what they're waiting on i mean why is my opponent even waiting here why is he even waiting? Man, all he has to do is just take my queen, so this is ridiculous. So capture yeah man sorry i gave you all a bad game that was just a horrible game i need to figure out well, i definitely got to look in the game review and analysis to see how to avoid that trap that was man a really tricky crazy trap there i mean i guess i got too greedy picking off pawns so that's what led to that trap all right just take the queen, uh, then what? You know, if I capture, um, man, this is ridiculous. I don't even know what they're waiting on. Hmm. I don't know. This is just strange that they're even waiting on anything here. <laughs> All they have to do is pick off the queen. I'm waiting already. I mean, what are they even doing taking this long? Hmm. This is kind of ridiculous. I don't know what they're waiting for. Okay, so there, now we can just resign. All right, yeah, that was just awful. Okay, definitely need a game review. When you lose a game like that to some little tricky trap, I definitely have to find out how to avoid that trap. Okay, um, and usually I don't fall for little opening traps like that, but I mean, I guess it happens to everybody every now and then. So, uh, and I won a game that was about this many moves recently, so I guess I got a payback on that. <laughs> All right.
Um, let's see. Oh man, it dropped my rating down below 1650. So let's review this and find out how to avoid that from happening again. Ugh, 56.4 was my accuracy rating versus their 89.1. So that was just an awful game. They played at 2250 and I only played at 1050. Uh, absolutely terrible. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we had a blunder there that ended the game. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. Start this review. Okay, so the game is all normal so far. So that was not a good move there. So if we go back, uh, this was an inaccuracy. They should have just captured, allowing me to capture their queen. Uh, but because they didn't do that, what do we have next here? Okay, if we go back one. Here I should have, instead of moving my knight, it looks like I should have immediately captured that pawn. Hmm. Ah, uh, I don't know. That is a brutal, tricky opening. I'm going to have to look at it in the analysis. All right, we'll just blast through these and then we'll dig into everything in the analysis. So that was the horrible move there. Horrible move. Uh, instead, I should have moved my queen over. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll just drive the knight away, but he doesn't have to run away. He can go here and have a discovered... Uh, see, if I capture, the knight captures here. So, yeah, that's a brilliant move, of course, because now he's forking. I should have brought my queen over here. Uh, all right. Yep, that's the end. And, you know, I'm just losing after this. So, quick analysis here. Um, let's go back to the beginning. Uh, all right, it's frustrating, but we have to bounce back from bad games like that. Okay, so everything's good so far. They decide to go here. So that's a book move. And then the best thing to do is capture another book move. Now, when they don't recapture, this is an inaccuracy. So it's saying now I should immediately just capture here. So instead of developing the knight, I thought I needed to develop something so I don't have a queen, you know, a threat of the queen coming down here. And uh, But it looks like I should have just taken, you know, captured. Uh, then their best move is that. And then what knight huh knight to d7 is what they like the best knight to d7 mm. so recommended is that knight to d7 man i mean that blocks future attacks on your uh queen here then they recommend capturing here. Then what? Knight to c5. Knight. Oh, this way. Knight to c5. Okay. Hmm. Knight to c5. They should capture. And then, oh, instead of going after this, I should capture here. Queen captures. Queen captures. Capture. And then finally the king captures here. 
And after the dust settles, uh, we have six pawns versus six, but they have this weak isolated pawn on a half open file, so that is good for black. Um, but our king is stuck in the middle, although it's in the end game now, so that's probably good that our king is in the middle. And we have an open h file here. So the recommendation now is knight to c3, um, knight to h6. Why wouldn't you just go here? I guess you don't want the bishop attacking. So knight to h6, they recommend capturing, which is second best, uh, that move to keep the king out of there. Knight to f5. King up to f2. And b6. Hmm. b6. All right. Anyway, that is, you know, how we should have played this. So instead... I develop, and black still has a slight edge here. That is a miss. Knight takes e4 immediately would have been better. Uh, but they, you know, I'm sure this player probably has won so many games with this little tricky trap. So that is an inaccuracy. And now, uh, well, we still have an edge here, but bishop to g4 would have been better. So... Bishop to g4 attacking the queen. Oh, yeah. That might be a better move. So, bishop to g4. Queen just moves up to d2. And then now we capture. E takes d3. Bishop takes d3. And then bishop to h5 to help cover this. Um, knight at g to what? e4. Okay. Then we could capture or we could just go here. That's what they recommend, just developing like that. Okay, now we have knight takes, knight takes castling and what next um, either bishop to g6 you know attacking their bishop or we can just play e6 because we need to get castled as well so knight to e2 with the threat of attacking our bishop uh, so we should you know, maybe drop back uh, they could capture us but it looks like knight to f4 going that way so then we capture uh, knight captures bishop up to d6 preventing the knight from jumping into the game um, rook to e1 lining up on our king and now it's saying b3 as well would be a, a decent move or queen to c7 or, well, that's us. Our move now is queen to c7. So if we go there, we're attacking. Uh, they can just play h3. That also keeps the knight out. Now, finally, we can castle. So something like this. So once again, that would have been better than in the game where we had capture and inaccuracy. We're still ahead, though. They capture, which is best, get to, helping develop that bishop. And the blunder here. So instead, we should have played queen to c7. All right. Queen to c7. Castle. Bishop to g4, attacking the queen. Queen to e1. e6. Knight at G to E4, and the same kind of thing. Then we can trade, um, go there, bishop to F5, attacking that knight. So something like that. But after this blunder, the game was over. This brilliant move, which 
Uh, like I said, I bet my opponent has won many games with this. And then I'm so worried about the rook that I forgot to move the queen. But uh, oh, actually, it looks like the best is that. We capture, but then, you know, this. Now we're under check. Our queen is unprotected, so we have to capture. Um, you know, we lose our queen, and now what? Knight at B to D7 traps the queen. But then we have bishop to E3. Um, mm. King to H7 to try and get back in the corner here. Um, protect our rook, I guess. And then if they go that way, there's pressure here. Um... E5, threatening the queen. So rook takes d7. Knight takes d7. Knight to e4. Rook to g8. Hmm. Rook to g8. All right, I guess it gives our room, our king some room to escape. And then rook to d1 here. Rook to d1. So what now? Up here to c5. Um, queen is under attack, so queen up to h4. Uh, we can capture here with a check, leave them with an isolated pawn, uh, and now rook to f8. We fight for the open file, uh, but after queen to e7 attacking, then what? King moves over here, g4. Yeah, anyway, you get the picture. We would just be behind there. So, awful game. They grabbed my queen, and then I resigned here. Okay, I just have to try and play better than that and not fall for that trap. So, once again, we'll take a look at this from the beginning. So, if you play the Carol Khan, and, you know, it starts out like this. Capture. Okay, everything's good so far. But then once they play this move, the best thing to do is immediately capture. So capture that pawn. The bishop is developed. Now you have pressure on this. So it looks like the best move is to ignore that. You know, because you're ahead by a pawn. So it doesn't matter if they capture this pawn. Now it's saying bishop to c4 would be even better. So that move, uh, or knight takes h7. Now they're saying, you know, back to that, that that was best. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to dig too much deeper into it. But if they play this, uh, what do they recommend here? Queen to a5 check, and then you go after the knight. Does that work? Queen to a5 check, knight to c3. Um, oh, that's protected. The knight is protected. So, knight to e5. We are attacking and protecting. Bishop to b3. And now h6 and black would be back in the game here. Um, knight to e4. Huh. Okay. Oh, sorry. Knight to e4, this move. Knight to e4. Then what? Bishop to f5, we just attack. Okay, yeah, so just avoid this crazy variation of the Karakhan defense. Oh, that was just awful. Okay, <laughs> well, we have to do better next time. Uh, please feel free to leave comments, especially if you've ever seen that little crazy trap, opening trap attack. Um, 
like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and have a super chess day.